Hey guys, it's Paul. I'm going to give you a really quick video on how to add a cookie consent pop-up bar or banner to your Teachable website uh, so that you're complying with EU laws. Basically, you just need to link to the privacy policy. You need to say, we track cookies on this site. Uh, here's the policy if you want to check it out or just click OK to consent. So here's the privacy on a, on a Teachable um website it will be forward slash p forward slash privacy so yours if it's training dot something it'll be after that but obviously all you got to do is go to the bottom of your page see your privacy uh and then copy that link right now i'm going to go to this slick tied uh, tools cookie consent downloads i'm going to put a link in this video and you're just going to create the code so on this one i've got on most of my pages when it shows up a little help button in the corner so I have to be wary so you could put a banner at the top of the page a little box pop up a banner at the bottom right um, a, a white banner so these ones are black these ones are white so my website is it's a bit of a mix isn't it but I'm gonna I'm gonna say it's it's light so I'm gonna use this black pop up right the website uses cookies to ensure you get the best experience on our website got it and then you're going to customize it. So you, if you don't like what that says, you can change it. And you can change, got it, put more info, what you want to, whatever you want to put, right? So more info is going to show when you paste that link in. So you paste that link and it puts some more info. So you can change that word in, you can change the got it, and you can change the actual text at the top. So when I click continue, it says copy this code and put it in your header. So you're going to, you're going to, ironically put it where you've put any other cookie information so if you're tracking google analytics or you're tracking well not google analytics on teachable because that's got a, it's got its own box hasn't it but if you've put like me you've got a, a help you've got a help uh button that's obviously a cookie uh, or a or unique code to it so i'm going to go to code sorry let me go back let me go back to admin you're going to go admin you're going to go site and you're going to go uh, code snippets. And this is where you're going to see you, if, if, the header code. You need to put it in the header so it's in uh, both logged in and logged out users. So nobody new will come and not get it. Because you could put it for logged out users. But I would put it in the header. Find your space. And then paste it. Uh, I've already done it once, look. Let's get rid of that. And you paste it in. So when I go to my site, because I've already done it, it's not showing, is it? So it's not going to show for 30 days. So let me go to my site on a, another website. Oh, don't click on that. Oh, come on. On another browser, sorry. Okay. So if I go to paulnicholson.com on this browser... It should pop up. And there it is, look. The website uses cookies to ensure you can go more information, text you to the privacy page, pops up again, and you just click got it. So it's a quick and easy way to do it. It is going to show that banner to everybody. It's not going to just show it to EU people. Uh, but, you know, I don't think it's a bad thing to tell all your customers or your students that, you know, that everybody knows these days that every website's got a cookie on it. Uh, in one form or another so just a quick way to do it all you got to do is you you link to your privacy page find your privacy page go to uh, slicktide.com forward slash tools forward slash cookie dash consent forward slash download uh, but i'll put a link to that and then you choose your theme customize it copy the code cool hope it helped cheers